Clinical Features and Diagnosis. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report that symptoms for Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, or known as CCHF, begin within a few days of an infected tick bite. Early symptoms of high fever slash headache, joint pain, vomiting, and stomach disturbances. As the disease progresses, symptoms also progress to um, large bruising throughout the body, severe nose bleeding, uncontrolled bleeding at tick bite location, jaundice, and changes in perception and mood. Um, most of these symptoms typically last around four days. Most of these, sorry, not last around. Um, most of these symptoms typically start around four days after the bite and last around two weeks. The long-term effects on surviving people with CCHF have not been found, and the recovery is a slow, painful process. The CDC reports that the fatality rates of hospitalized patients with CCHF range from 9% to as high as 50%. Doctors can determine a patient has CCHF by viewing signs of redness in the eyes or throat, flushed face, and pateke, which is red spots on the palate. Um, also, doctors can uh, hear about the symptoms presented above as well. But a clear, um, a clear diagnosis of CCHF can only be determined by laboratory testing, in which, um, which includes antigen capture enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, real-time polymerase chain reaction, or RT-PCR, or virus isolation attempts.